It's Friday afternoon at the Big Sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 Weather Center. And officially in Billings, we wound up with about four inches of snow out of that storm last night. But you'll notice here, thanks to all that sunshine and the traffic, snow's starting to melt off the streets right now. Plus, it's 21 degrees out there at 2 in the afternoon. We have a south wind at 5 miles per hour, giving us a wind chill factor that feels like 15 above right now. Around the rest of the state, everybody is above zero for a change. And look at Bozeman and Livingston. They're into the 40s right now. Still into the single digits across the High Line, but at least it's above zero right now. The threat Board, that's starting to thin out a little bit. We could see additional snowfall across northern Montana and also towards the southwest, but just a little bit. I think here in the Billings area, we are basically done for the day. You'll notice the storm we had continues to move up towards the northeast, away from us. Another batch of snow getting ready to move from the southwest. That could make its way into our area sometime tomorrow. That's what the computer models are showing. We think maybe about 1030 in the morning. Could see some sm snow move through uh, south central Montana and also Yellowstone County and Billings. Then after that, that kind of slides away. We'll see some scattered snow showers lingering around 6 o'clock on Saturday night. Night. Then by Sunday, that whole thing starts to make its way in towards the Dakotas, and it is through with us for a while. In the meantime, here's what the computer models are saying we'll see for snowfall amounts. Not much, maybe another one or two inches of snow for the Billings area. Some of the blown-out models are saying maybe up to three inches. We'll see if that happens. In the meantime, our temperatures will be 24 degrees next hour, rolling back down to the teens for the rest of the day, and back up to about maybe 17 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll wind up with a high on Saturday of 26, back down to the single digits on Sunday and Monday. We'll wind up with temps into the 20s as we head into the latter part of next week. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.